welcome to the channel. If you're new here and you just found out this video, maybe you'll check out some of our other videos and you'll subscribe. So we're sitting here working today, getting a lot done, bust and tail. And then earlier I get a notification that uh, my Facebook is locked due to suspicious activity or something. And they wanted me to change my password uh, to secure my account. So I changed the password. Within two hours after that, uh, all of a sudden I get a notification I no longer can buy or sell on Facebook. Now, we are a car dealership and we sell all of our cars on Facebook. I also sell all racing parts and other odds and ends on Facebook. So it's a pretty big deal. A pretty big part of our life is to sell on Facebook. Uh, we're not the type to go out and cause problems. We don't share a bunch of um, topics that you know have opinions or both sides to them. And we stay clear of all that and we try to just keep everything about business. But uh, today leads you to the point of where you're just wondering like how how can these big companies it's crazy how well i mean they can do whatever they want but it's crazy how they can just all of a sudden just say oh you're done and when they ban you and they do these bans or whatever they don't give you no reason now i'm already currently fighting a facebook reel ban so i'm demonetized from facebook reels um due to unoriginal content it said so i uh I had repurposed a couple things. Uh, many people on Facebook repurposed reels and repurposed content and then put music over it or whatever. And so originally I said, okay, maybe that's the issue. Now they didn't tell you what reel uh, was the issue or which video, you know, was causing the problems. They don't tell you anything when they give you these bands. Um, and so I went through there and deleted it all. No big deal. Um, I waited it out for like a week and then I ended up going into my, um, professional mode account because when we're pay we are paid by facebook to do reels on facebook i'm also paid by youtube obviously um so i'm paid by facebook and i work for meta with facebook and then i work for youtube when it comes to a content creator and when they ban you on facebook they don't they don't tell you you know so i had got rid of them uh reels and then finally i was e i went in there emailed facebook for support because it's a little easier a lot of times to get support when you are employed by meta which is facebook but um, uh, that has went nowhere. I have been emailing Meta, uh, which is Facebook, back and forth for, I don't know, over a week now. I think it was last Saturday that I deleted all my reels and um, then requested another review and uh, have gotten nowhere. So the review, I requested another review. I guess they reviewed it and they declined it and still demonetized it, said to due to unoriginal content. And my question is just how do I have unoriginal content when I have no content currently on Facebook at all? Like none period, all my reels are gone. And then everything's happened today with Facebook Marketplace. So um, it's kind of crazy. It's just, you know, if, if you have anything that's happened kind of like this, comment below and uh, let me know what's going on with your stuff because it's like, you know, I guess, I guess we need to have a website that we own for our car sales stuff. But then it's the problem of, getting your information out there. So I have a ton of followers on Facebook, on my marketplace. So you can have followers on your reels, you can have followers on your personal page, you can have followers on your marketplace. I have a very big following on marketplace uh, due to car sales. We've been doing this for a while now and a lot of people follow uh, me. So anytime I post anything for sale, it notifies them. The same way I have like 3,000 followers on my Facebook reels. So anytime I post a reel, um, people get notified that I posted a new reel, you know? And then YouTube, our YouTube is obviously clearly still still growing, but it just, maybe now's the time to really go ahead and make a website for our car dealership and start trying to push that so people, you know, can always go to the website so we're in control of it. It's just Facebook has dominated the market of car sales where if you wanna buy a car nowadays, you either go cruise around, go to the lots, or you go on Facebook, like that's it. Craigslist kind of killed that when they wanted us to start paying like 10 or $50 a car, you know, to post it. And then all the stuff that went on with Craigslist, you know, a couple years back uh, where it just got sketchy and uh, Craigslist basically killed their self. They were a monster uh, for selling stuff and they kind of killed their self, you know, and now it seems like Facebook has, has so many issues that it's like, I always wonder, uh, you know, is Facebook going to be the next to kill their self? Uh, Instagram, all that crap. There's no reason to really spend too much time on that stuff because Facebook owns that stuff. Like Instagram, they own it. They're never going to let Instagram get bigger than, you know, Facebook because 
they would be killing herself. So it kind of wouldn't make sense. Facebook is their big one. And then they took over, you know, some other little ones underneath it. So comment below if you have any advice or any, uh, you know, the experiences that you have experienced and hopefully you'll stick around. Maybe you'll subscribe to the channel and, um, hopefully Facebook will get all this cleared up soon where, you know, if, if I'm not the only one affected by it, maybe everybody can get back up and running issue free. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks y'all.